Mitä sä tykkää kaikista eniten tehdä? Musiikki. Ah, she love music. And she, she love me. She, she, yes, I love you. Of course I love you. So Zoe, here we are in Finland. But you know, Finland implements its education system quite differently from Singapore. My schools have got children with severe disabilities, so I'm trying to have a sense of how they can be included in yes, classrooms. Yes, that you will see when you go to class. Okay. Hello. 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 Sarah. Sarah. I'm Zoe. Zoe. Yes, I'm from Singapore. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Hi, Sarah. What's your name? Jackie. Chucky, Chucky, yes, Bucky, Bucky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yokinimi has been from the beginning a school for every kind of children. We have all kinds of people here like the world after school has. It's a benefit to kind of learn to cope with every kind of people and you kind of don't even notice that you learn that. What do you think about friends who might look different from us? So like in many other countries, Finnish school system used to have an era with uh, special schools. And little by little we have decreased the number of uh, separate special schools. Uh, in Vanta we don't have special schools. The resource from the special schools were divided. So all the nearby schools got more special education teachers, doctors, therapists and psychologists and more assistants. Nowadays, most of those students, they are going to the smaller classroom in, in mainstream schools or they are fully included in the mainstream classes. Our culture here, we are all learning together at the same building. And for my kids, it's very important to see that you can learn without language or without speaking with the disabilities as well. We don't care about the try new methods or new way to work. Pupils are quite open-minded with everything we do, and they just like it very much. We have to really ask ourselves what are the skills that are so essential that the pupils come to the school. Our answer is that we need to emphasize the collaboration, social skills, social sensitivity. It's utmost important that our children learn how to be in fruitful interaction with different learners, with different abilities, to build the society together. <laughs> The first tier is called general support and that is for every student. At the second level is intensified support. There we can get a special teacher to come to do some co-teaching and consult the classroom teacher. The last stage is the special support. Mm, 
we want to make the plans very individually. It depends on the child's abilities and needs. Some of the autistic children have the same goals as mainstream students, but then some of the disabled children, they have functional goals. Is that your job? Is it your job to the wheelchair? Yes? Yes. yes. That's your job. Okay, please do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you can leave me. I'm struck by the level of person-centered care planning that the students receive. First of all, I'm reminded of the students in Rainbow Schools. It was exciting for me to think about the possibility of our Singaporean students with severe disabilities going to a school that's near them to be part of a community amongst their peers. Even if they are not attending all the lessons together, the mainstream students will grow up knowing that they are friends like this. Friendship. Like play nice together. You are a friend to them, they'll, they'll be a friend to you. That's how it is. The secret is inside the heart. The magic was inside the friendship. The secret is in the friendship. In these mathematics books, they get the same amount of homework every day, and we don't have much homework. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Much homework. <laughs> yes. And we don't have a lot of tests because we have to evaluate the children how they are progressing every day. And also, since they're all doing different things. Yeah. Um, you obviously don't have a standardized test for the class. No, no, no. And we don't have that kind of system at all. We have, of course, criteria for, for learning, but we like to see that we are evaluating learning, not children. <laughs> We believe very much in portfolio assessment where you really have a descriptions of your learning task. And when you make the objectives visible for the learner, it's very concrete for the teacher, for the learner and the parents. Looking at Finland's comprehensive school system, I'm thinking about our concept of education in Singapore. And it's difficult not to think about PSLE. And you know, stress has also filtered down to early childhood, where parents are concerned whether their children will be prepared for primary one for PSLE. We believe that uh, the skills that are needed in the future, it's not repetition of the information. So if you are emphasizing testing and ranking and memorizing things by heart, okay, you get scores, but does it help your learning? I think at this juncture in our development as a nation and where our journey in education is concerned, this is a really pertinent question. You know, what sort of a culture do we want in our schools and society? And really it boils down to the values. Mm. What do we truly value? Do we value the grades? Do we value the outcomes? Or do we value each individual? <laughs>